Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I am super excited to tell you that Unreal Engine 5 is officially released. We have new demo, we have the Matrix demo available for download and a lot of cool stuff going on in Unreal Engine 5. I just updated my Unreal Engine, play a little bit with it. So this is the new mannequin that we have. It's pretty cool. I, I like it a lot compared to the previous mannequin. Uh, it's a shiny robot with very fluid animation, as you can see, not, uh, not like the previous mannequin. You also have some uh, physical based boxes here in the demo. This is the clean demo that you can have uh, by using the third person template in Unreal Engine 5. So let's create a little scene right now. I'm gonna first delete all those blocks and all the playground. Let me delete everything over here. And when I click play, my hero falls. The first thing that I want to do is I'm gonna click here and go to the landscape. And I'm gonna create a little landscape. It will be uh, one by one components and I'm gonna put it in 25 by 25 watts. I'm gonna click create. So now I have my landscape ready. If I click play, my player still falls. So I go to the select, click the player set, uh, start, and I need to put it a little bit higher. So when I click play, I have my character running on my level. All right, this is the first step. The second step, we want to apply a texture over here to our terrain. Let's do this. I download the Tundra assets from, let me show you, from Quixel Bridge. So those are the assets that I downloaded. You can search for Tundra and download all the assets over here. So I'm going to choose this mossy rock and I'm going to open my landscape over here and select the landscape streaming pro. Now in the landscape material, just drag and drop it over here. When I click play, I have the material over here, but it looks too repetitive. As you can see, it is ugly. So double click on this material, go into the tiling and offset and put it zero to, let me see how it looks. It looks better. Click save and let's try it. Yep. That's better. All right. This is my first step. Next, I'm going to start uh, defining my level. I'm going to make something like a tunnel uh, for my level. And I'm going to start by uh, placing the huge uh, Tundra assets. So the first one, let's see this one. All right. Uh, so this is my starting point. Let's try this one. All right. This is better. So I'm, I'm going to cover the left and the right side of, uh, of the player uh, path. So when I start, I have this one. All right, looking good. I'm going to turn off all the rotation and scales because I want to uh, tweak them by hand. So this is the first one. Let's try the other ones. I'm going to place this over here. I'm just trying to create a tunnel over here. So I want my player to go forward on this direction and uh, create a point of interest at the end of our path. So let's add more of those. I'm just playing with it.
All right, so this is the final level that I created. I've tweaked a little bit the fog and the lightning, the sun and some post-process effects. I just play with those settings in the lightning with the directional light, with the exponential height fog. And in the post-process, I'm using film with a tow filter with 0.7. I've enabled lumen over here and I think that's pretty much it with the post process. You can play uh, with the other settings with the temperature. I played a little bit. You can change the temperature over here. But pretty much setting up those things is uh, ex experimenting with what you want to achieve. And let me show you my final look of my scene. So here is my path. I fill it up with more rocks with some grass etc and here are the objects i just place those trees uh, over there just like a placeholders so let's start and play the level so this is the level that i've created pretty fast and as you can see it has pretty much everything to be a location for games so you have level you have a uh, level in the in the details uh, in the scale you have the fog you have the pathway to show you where to go, uh, some grass, some rocks. And this is pretty much cool looking level. If you turn behind, you can see a lot of stuff going up. So yeah, this is pretty much what I've created for this short time. If you play a little bit more with it, you can create a lot more details and make it to look even better but this is uh, how i uh, design levels and this is pretty quick video on how you can do it yourself of course this unreal engine 5 uh, is opening a lot of doors for everybody to create uh, games which will look next gen so if you like the video if you want to see more uh, videos about unreal engine 5 uh, about level design about uh, create massive worlds, create locations on those massive worlds, maybe animations, characters. Just hit subscribe and like this video. Thank you guys for the support. See you next time.